What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. To prison for five years. When I got out of prison in 2003, mm. I paid child support from that day until just February of last year when I lost Only my job. Only because they garnished your wages. Absolutely. That's what they do. Ungrateful. And I actually asked my public defender, where's the proof? I've yet to see proof that the child's mine. The sensitivity oh, no. of this issue ran two tests. The results are as follows. In the case of Manser versus Sear. Mr. Manser, you are not oh, oh, his oh father. My God, bro. Oh, man. Oh, That's dude. crazy, bro. Went to prison over I, this? Dylan, I'm sorry, bro. Oh. This is why. This is why. I did what I did. But this is acted. nothing I made up. The lab did You it. made it all oh, up. No, I those, did not. Well, those results are pretty I don't know made any up. of those people on that form. Oh, my God. She should be convicted. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Convicted of some crime. No, I should not. I did that Mr. Manson. Fraud. Mr. Manson. Let me know in the comments. Or let me know, chat. Do you think if a woman commits paternity fraud that they should get some type of sentence? Personally, I do. How dare you lie about the father of the child that you have and say, that's the father, and then make him go to prison for it for five years for not paying child support. And then as soon as he got out, he was still paying child support. I think that there should be repercussions for that. It's a lying, lying in court, saying that this is the father of the child when he's actually not even the real dad. I think there should be repercussions. Let me know in the chat. That is fraud. I know you're upset. <sighs> upset is... <sighs> Miss Sear. Mm. Do you know? Yes, ma'am. You know who his father is. Yes, I talked to him still. Wow. Your brother's calling me a liar. You cannot stand there and really suggest that you cannot comprehend why this man would not have any type of ill feeling, frustration, or regret as it relates to anything involving you. Stupid. Five years in prison. She really had the nerve to make- Bro, that's wild. This man spent five years in prison for not paying child support over a baby that wasn't even his. Bro, my dad didn't pay any child support. <laughs> my mom never made him pay child support. And he left when I was 11 and I, we never saw a freaking penny. Not a penny. <laughs> My dad was like, you know what? I'd rather I'd rather smoke rocks. I'd rather do speed and smoke weed. <laughs> That's another quote. I'd rather do speed and smoke weed than have to pay for freaking child support for a little old Levi. Boy, I was a ratty little kid too. I had a chili bowl. Let me know, chat. What was your haircut of choice when you were a kid? I had a mullet, <laughs> which apparently those are making a comeback right now. I had a mullet and I also had a chili bowl. I was rocking those things hard, buddy boy. Oh my God. I Oh, yes. <laughs> Erica Mina goes crazy when she finds out Safari only has to pay 4k a month in child support. Okay, so it looks like I think I've seen this clip before. She's like celebrating that she's gotten divorced. Oh my god, I'm officially divorced. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> she really thought she secured, secured the bag. What about the child support? Ooh. That's it. <laughs> Tony, that's crazy. Why? Are you kidding me? Now all of this financial burden with my children is on me? You wanted a divorce? Uh, duh. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. 
And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Uh. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like, what are you talking about? Not fair! You had a man! You were married! You had a whole man! That was willing to pay for stuff, and now you got divorced, and now you got to pay for everything, and that's like, uh? Like, he doesn't have to pay nothing? If you weren't treating marriage... Bro, she really thought she was about to come up on a bag with this man. She was like, I'll just divorce him, and then I'll be able to get his bag. Shout out to Safari. Good for him. <laughs> Fighting a good fight, man. I remember back in my day when a woman would stick with you through thin and thin. She wouldn't just leave you to go get the bag. She would stick by your side and be a good woman. Pick you up when you was down. And high five you and clap for you when you was up. What happened to those days, man? We, are, we have lost our way, boy. We really, really, truly have. The patriarchy does not value work. It values competition. Let's see what she says. Uh-oh. Compete and dick measure with other women are. At best, men are cut out to compete and dick measure with other men. Oh my. And why precisely would an individual think that? Oh, I know that? It's because every time they lift a finger, men want a fucking cookie and a parade. Men talk so much shit about, you know, I gotta go to work and oh, I'm so tired, I'm so exhausted. Like, meanwhile, women will literally carry a child for nine months in their body and then birth it and be like up and walking around the next day. Wow. It's almost like that's what the human female body is designed to do. But go on. I'm sure that the rest of this will be just riveting. Mm -hmm. That's what work is. You have to understand all of life is work. And every time you take a shortcut, you hurt yourself in the long run. And if you want to live a good life, all of it from morning till night has to be some type of work. No kidding, is it? I'm beginning to wonder if this entire video is just a compilation of statements of the obvious. <laughs> Women are called slobs and bad wives and bad girlfriends if they don't know how to cook, clean, do laundry, organize stuff, plan stuff, all of these things. They're typically the only one that does them in the house. All of that is work. And men will want a fucking cookie for leaving the house eight hours out of the day and exchanging their time for money. It's rather sad that some individuals aren't better at disguising how much they truly dislike men just for being men. They string a bunch of pretty words together and hope that it actually sounds like a coherent thought that's been put together. That's right, gentlemen. Bro, Lady J's always based. Shout out to Lady J. I need to get Lady J on an episode. Somebody help me find her. Like, does she have like a like an IG or something? I, I don't know if you can DM people on uh, TikTok, but I'd love to interview Lady J. She, I, I'm sure she has a YouTube channel. That makes 75k a year. <laughs> no, that's so cute. No, no, no. With inflation in this economy, I absolutely could not. I don't think that he could afford our groceries. And I mean, and I'm 75k. Good lord. <laughs> This man is willing to make the bread and give you the money to do something with it. It's pro the problem is she's standing outside of a Moxie's, probably in Miami. This woman is every bit of 30-something years old talking about a man needs to make 75K. Honey, you better be bringing 75K to the table. Shots fired! Shots fired! Talking about 75K. Good Lord. So entitled, bro. Buying organic, and obviously I'm buying all like grass-fed. I grass know, I'm seeing a lot of plastic on the face. Shots fired! Shots fired! That doesn't look organic to me. <laughs> Finished beef, no seed oils, so no, we couldn't afford that at Whole Foods. No, no, no. No Whole Foods for this guy. <laughs> no Whole Foods. We're back at like Publix, like the sale section, like Walmart groceries. Walmart groceries. <laughs> yeah. That's where you're at, though. That's that's. I, I she seemed like a Walmart groceries kind of girl. Manly handymen, are they becoming extinct? No, there's a ton of them around. The real men, where have you gone to? And I'm talking handymen. Bro, somebody come get their grandma. Shots fired! Shots fired! This lady, every bit of 55 going on 69. You know what I mean by that. Men that can fix things, men that can do manly things. Where are you? Where are they? They're off enjoying life. Yeah. They're doing the manly things that you think they don't do anymore. They're hunting, they're fishing, they've gone golfing, they're hanging out with their buds, and those things around the house, they've already done them. In fact, they do them ahead of time so they don't become a problem. You know, those things that you all claimed aren't really a big deal, that only take a few minutes here and there. Nothing like having to, I don't know, spend the three minutes it takes to load a dishwasher or put a load of laundry in the washer. And now, ladies, <laughs> after telling us for decades that you didn't want us, didn't need us, you're strong and independent. Yeah. You can do anything a man can. 
men have heard you mm -hmm. and they're letting you do exactly that and y'all have suddenly figured out that well maybe that's not what we wanted we don't want to have to do those dirty jobs and possibly break a nail or get our hair and makeup messed up start calling these women mike Rowe because they don't want to do the dirty jobs <laughs> you guys remember mike Rowe? look i have a micro micro and here's micro <laughs> have you seen that meme the micro meme let me know in the chat have you seen it we don't want to have to climb ladders or go into dirty spider infested basements to have to do some repairs we don't want to do any of that and some of you figured well we'll just hire men to come in and do that only to find out that's gotten pretty expensive now if you can even find one well, a plumber's like a few hundred an hour because they're so busy you ladies created this situation now you get to own it, which begs the question. You why? walked your way in this problem, now go ahead and cry your way out of it. <laughs> You're asking these questions. You already know the answer. The problem is you don't want to acknowledge that you're the ones responsible for it. You mm -hmm. don't want to have to take accountability that you told men to go away and they've done just that. Yeah. And I hate to break it to you ladies, but they ain't coming back anytime soon oh no way i'm not sure why nobody wants to speak up about this but i guess i'll be the one to do it there is a serious shortage of no there's just a shortage of men that want to pursue you shots fired shots fired like, what is up with all these mid women thinking that they all deserve a, a highly successful and attractive man what makes you so entitled to someone else's energy resources time what well, why are these ladies so entitled that they think they deserve a lot of this stuff? It's just, this is just absolutely crazy to me. I'm like, who are you to demand these things? You are literally just a regular schmeg, an absolute regular schmegular. The soft life is just lazy and entitled women wanting luxury. Define soft life. Soft life is ease, mm -hmm. a nice, easy life. Like everything is easy. Everything is being taken care of and I don't have to I really don't have to do it. If I want to work, I can, but I don't the have to. The soft life is just women being children. Shots fired! Shots fired! No responsibilities. No financial burden. You don't have to do anything around the house. You just do what you want to do. That's what children do. To do it. Yeah. Like, it's being presented to me to yeah. receive. When I hear women talk about soft life, I, I, I oftentimes get disgusted because it just seems like oh they don't God. want, um, you don't want to be a teammate, you don't want to be a partner, you want to be a companion. Like, you know what I'm saying? A companion, like, you just, you just hear the kick. You just want to be a freeloader and just take advantage of a man that has resources. That's what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? I done did everything, so I done took all the risks, I done made all the investment, <laughs> and you want to eat. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And if we were, because you, you have business, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, if you would let me partner Mm -hmm. in your business where you pay for everything you take all the risk uh -huh. and then i'm like yes but when you hit though uh -huh. it's ours it's ours and you live a soft you life me crazy <laughs> like you know what i'm saying so just that that proposition mm -hmm. like you know, that proposal to me be like yeah i want a soft life like, yeah I, get I, I don't understand why any man would look at that and be like Cool. Well, I've experienced. Yeah, no man's gonna look at that and say, "You know what? That's a good deal." Where's that deal at? Where can I go get a woman that just wants to take everything? <laughs> no guy's gonna take that deal. That's a, that's like hitting on twenty when you're playing blackjack. It's a bad deal. You know what I'm saying? And then, how, how you making my life soft? Or am I supposed to have the hard life so you can have the soft life? In there. I mean, this dude is preaching, bro. He is straight up preaching. Left by Iraq. The female told by Iraq. You ever been cheated on? When I left Iraq, the female told the dude that I died in combat. What? So when I came back, he was in my house. What? What'd you do to him? He was on my side. He was like, what the fuck? And then from there, we put her out together. You put her out together with him? Yeah, he helped me to kick all our shit out. We went to the bar, had a drink, because he lost his brother in combat, actually. From there, we ended up being cool Homies. friends. That man lost that a That is wild. This is why I always say men are the true romantics. We know how to build genuine friendships and genuine like um, relationships and women don't. POV, prenup signing in 2024 be like. I didn't date you for your money. I fell in love with your heart. Well then just sign the prenup and let this love story begin. Love stories don't begin with prenups. This one does. Women don't need men for money. Oh. Statistics show single women own more houses than single men. Yeah, from divorce. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so true, though. Y'all own more houses because 70 to 80% and 90% of um, college educated women actually initiate divorce. Isn't that crazy to think? You have a 90% chance of a woman initiating divorce with you if she's college educated. Sweetheart, I'm going to tell you like this my cookies is worth the wait. Well, first off, check that, sweet. I, I know your cookies ain't worth the wait because you ain't made nobody wait. You got two kids without a marriage. Name me the product that gains value, value. with age and use. use. This is such a good one. A product that gains value with age and use. Yeah. Man. I want to say. Uh -huh. I want to say your mind, but I may be stupid. different. I may be stupid. I said a product. Can you, where can you go buy a mind? A product. A, a product. A product. Stupid. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna tell me. Uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> Nothing. Kevin Samuels, shout and out. Let's just <laughs> shout out to the Godfather, man. Shout out, bro. Talk about your cookies. They're getting older and they've been used. That don't mean nothing. Yes, You're it right. Does. They don't. They don't. Yeah. Oh, you are. Well, th this is what I don't get: is how women think that more use, age, wisdom, and experience equals value. It doesn't. Ladies, the older you get, the lower your value is. It needs to be opposite of what men do. As they get older, they can raise their value. But it's the entitlement of these women. You've pumped out two humans. You've spat out two humans. And you want to talk about your cookies are worth the wait? Nobody had to wait for them. You already shat out two kids. And now I have the liability of these two kids that I got to take care of financially, emotionally. Like, come on. It's such a bad deal. And the fact that single moms don't realize it is so alarming to me, but there's so many single moms. You guys could probably go get on Facebook. Let's do a, let's do a chat. Let's do a, a little social experiment tonight. I want you to go get on. Um, I want you to go get on Facebook and I want you to scroll around and see how many single moms you can find in like a 30 minute window. If you're not on social media, then I guess do go to another place or I don't know, but think about in your head, how many single moms do you know? I, I know right now off, off rip, Two that I went to high school with that are in the same grade as me that have two kids by two different baby daddies. This is where this song comes in. Looking for a stepdaddy. That's what a lot of these women are doing. It's crazy to me, but these stories, you, you can't you can't write a better story. That's what's so beautiful about it. And these women are like, uh-uh, it's just not me. I'm special. You miss it, what I mean, I'm an asset. No, you're not. This is why I say you don't do better than your baby daddy. If you think your baby daddy ain't shit, oh, shit. Oh, then shit. the next man, he might as well acquit. Put, put it on a t-shirt. If your baby daddy wasn't shit, if your baby daddy wasn't shit, if your baby daddy wasn't shit, then the next man should acquit. <laughs> can someone please tell my husband he can stand up? Wife makes fun of how her husband does chores. <laughs> Why Man is yoked. Dancing. Good for him being in good shape. <laughs> hey, honey, can you back in the room? It's really freaking me out. Sam, why are you doing it like such a doggy? It's designed so you can stand up with it. <laughs> yeah, it's more precise. More, yeah, more control. Over. Yeah, this is definitely one of those which came first, the chicken or the egg situations. Do women stop showing respect when men stop trying, or do men stop trying when women stop showing respect? Because I think it would grind anyone's gears if you well, saw... Yeah, a lot of men get discouraged by this. ...someone freaking out with anxiety. So you took over to do a chore to hopefully relieve their anxiety, only to become their next point of ridicule for how you chose to do the chore. Two things to consider before criticizing how someone is doing the chore. One, is the chore getting done? Yes, great. So then two, are you the one doing the chore? No? Okay, so then why do we have the audacity to complain about how it's getting done? Like, I am very surprised he didn't simply say, then you do it and walk away. But he knows if he does that, he'll be the bad guy. So he resorts to being the idiot husband instead. And like, damn, those are the only two reputation options we give our husbands, either nefarious villain or bumbling idiot. I think the words you've been looking for are, thank you for vacuuming. Who is better at communication, men or women? Women. Women are better at communication. Chad, who's better at communication, men or women? It's men all day. Women are terrible at communication. Women, for sure. If men are worse at communication, why do so many women expect men to read their body language rather than just be direct? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't Stupid. Know. Are men expected go. to be mind readers? Yes. 
Is there a difference between what women say that they want in a relationship and what they actually respond to? Absolutely. If so, how are women better at communication? We're not. Stupid. But you just said that they were. I lied, clearly. I'm not communicating well, duh. That's not fair. That's not fair! That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. Base. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, he's like doing multiple takes <laughs> to see. Which one. That's what these women do. I can't believe that women are single by choice because men aren't single by choice. Who's gonna tell her? We are single by choice. Somebody come get their grandma, dude. What an interesting statement. I cannot wait to hear what one is basing that off of. They may be finding women to go on dates with, but nothing's sticking. Okay, well that happens for women as well. So what exactly is this leading up to? And so they're lashing out at women saying things like, have fun being single or enjoy your cats. Not all men say things like that. Sir, that's the whole point, is that I am having fun being single and I love my cats. <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, bro. The stories write themselves. So that means that one is single by choice, right? So why can a woman be single by choice, but not a man? I also love my peace of mind, not having to be accountable to somebody who isn't really that interested. He's not interested in me and my life and things that I want and need. And there it is. That is actually the reason why a lot of men are now choosing to remain single for that very reason. As men age alone, it is not good. Oh, really? And they're, the men are not okay. I think they but are. I, I think men going their own way. I think these dudes are doing just fine. Let me know in the chat. Are you guys doing okay? The guys that are single, are you guys living your best life right now? Probably got more money than you can deal with. You don't have any headaches. You get to come home and do exactly what you want every day. Oh, that sounds so brutal. As I age, I am getting happier and happier with myself and my girlfriend. So happy that you just have to get on social media and cry about it. Shots fired! Shots You're fired! You're so happy, sis. Go you and my family. And the idea of having to accommodate a man's insecurities or even securities is just less and less appealing. And with that, one actually nailed the Tell me you have no choices in men without telling me. You have no choices in men. ...reason why a lot of men are also choosing to remain single because oftentimes, it's simply more peaceful. It's as simple as that. For a women's organization. Yikes. <laughs> that must be fun. <laughs> Like hurting cats. The patriarchy built the modern world that we live in. 80% of STEM is dominated by men. What are you talking about? Men keep the lights on, the water running. We build the houses that you live in, the cars that you drive. Everything in this life that we have that you consider a luxury is made by men and managed by men. You. I'm in charge, so. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and uh, is, that, uh, is that your partner over there? Yeah. Okay, Oof. cool. You need a man, still. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating her up. I like this guy. He's fresh? Well, how many times do you smash that pizza? <laughs> 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 That's not a sound you should make. Oof. Someone asks you, how did you meet your lovely partner? Ooh. Mm. Oh. It's a long story of making jokes in the desert. Trekking in the desert. In the desert? Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. Now I understand why she's dry. Um, <laughs> now I get why she's dry. <laughs> This man's a savage. I like him. He was good. Let's jump into the Discord. Let's see what we got. All right. All right. You guys are sharing some. Oh, my God. MJ. Uh, whoa. This is crazy. All right. MJ just shared this. Do men find this attractive? Would you settle down with someone like this? I find it gross, but I'm not a guy. I can't imagine that's natural. <laughs> what? You're a Latina in Europe. Big bag. Big bag. Big bag, big bag. The am amount of plastic in her body could start a national disaster in the Atlantic Ocean. 
Good freaking Lord. She looks like she took the hips from a horse and put them on her own body. Shots fired! Shots fired! Bro, what is that? Where did, what, what is this build? What is this? Honest? Yeah, honesty is the best. When you meet a new- This girl is thicker than cold peanut butter. Shots fired! Shots fired! I guess that's not a diss, but thicker than freaking a bowl of oatmeal. What does she got? So when she meets a new guy, when you meet a new guy, are you pretty honest? Yeah, honesty is the best policy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's your body count? My body count? I'd say like under five. Under. Cap. Really? Yeah. Under, even with OF and everything, under five? Well, that's content. That doesn't count. The content. Chat, let me know. Does content count, bro? If that's a body, that's a body. You are so stupid. <laughs> So you don't count the people, those people in your body count? Oh no, it doesn't count, that's just content. That's like acting, that's Hollywood. I mean, that's it, I just, I don't, I don't count people that I do content with as a body, as part of the body count. Stupid. Honestly, there's a couple situations in where, in which like, I don't feel like they count. For example, like if I meet a fan and we decide to do content, I don't consider that part she's of She's a runner, she's a track star. Count. If I go on a girl's trip, whatever, whatever happens in that girl's trip, I feel like that doesn't count as a body count. And also if I get drunk, I don't I don't count whatever happens while I'm drunk. So basically anything you don't count as a body. <laughs> Good Lord. Part of my body count. So if you get drunk, five guy, you know, gang bang. Didn't happen. It doesn't <laughs> count towards a body count. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't count. It doesn't count because it just doesn't. I feel like the only times I consider body count is when I'm like invested in what I'm doing and like, in an emotional way. So if you met the man of your dreams right now and he wants to spend the rest of his life with you and he says, I just have to ask you one question, just be honest, it doesn't matter. What's your body count? What would you say? I would be honest. I would say under five. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smile. She thought she was cooking too. This is why these OF girls are dumber than a bag of rocks. Shots fired! Shots fired! Kids, stay in school. Go to school. Please don't do this. Good freaking Lord. MJ, shout out to you, man. These are these are pretty good so far. When he filed for a visa to come to America. Oh, this man's about to get his bag. Oh, look at him. He getting cooked for you doing the lawn work. You doing the laundry. Man, this man is winning, boy. That's what we get. Passport bros. That's what we get. And then the last one that he put in here. MJ, you put some bangers in here. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, this one says based AF. Let's see what this one is. Oops, are sorry. seriously ready? So do you ladies feel like women are seriously ready for emotionally intelligent men? Okay. <laughs> uh, emotionally intelligent men are superior in the fact of they don't put up with a lot of crap. Let's see where this clip goes, but I'm, I'm almost betting it goes somewhere where emotionally intelligent men know what they're willing to put up with. And they're not going to put up with an emotionally unintelligent woman. And even even and emotional intelligence with women to me is already like a oxymoron. But let me shut up and get back to this. So do you ladies feel like women are seriously ready for emotionally intelligent men? <laughs> Kitty, Kitty, what do you think? OK, let's talk about what emotional intelligence comes with before we even get into this conversation. OK, we're talking about you wanting a man who is tolerant who regulates his emotions, yes. who also knows how to manage your emotions. Mm -hmm. But you're also talking about a man who knows how to navigate his sensitivities and everything else when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. But you have to consider that an emotionally intelligent man is good at cutting people off when he sees that your sensitivities bring too much reactivity. Ooh. When he sees that you cannot regulate your emotions, when he sees that you have a low tolerance, this type of man that you are asking for is a man who will walk you out the door in a heartbeat Ooh. if he feels like you are disrupting his peace. Damn. If he feels like there's okay. any level of disrespect because there's a lot that comes with emotional intelligence. Hey. So if you ask him for that, you got to come with the same level of emotional intelligence as well. Hey. Okay? That comes with a number of factors. So if you are a woman who knows that even though you may be sensitive to certain things like criticism, rejection, because you're not always going to be accepted. Sometimes he's going to bounce back and sometimes he's going to say, I don't agree with your opinion. Sometimes he's going to say, I don't like those thoughts. Sometimes he's going to say, I don't like the way you speak to me. If you're not ready for that, don't be asking for an intelligent man. Uh, so hey, preach. Let her preach. This woman is straight up preaching. Emotional intelligence, man. It's, it's a little bit weird because like emotions and intelligence, 
I think it would be emotional tolerance in a regard where you know what you're willing to deal with and you know what your lines in the sand are as a man. Um, and as a man, you have to know what those are because if you don't, you have to be the leader in your family, at least in my opinion. Um, you have to be the leader in your family. So if there's certain things that are happening that you aren't putting up with, you have to put your foot down and say, hey, we do not do that. You have to lead that way. And that's the thing. People are like, my kids are bad or my girl's bad. It's like, well, are you leading by example? You have to lead by example. Be the change that you want to see. And who is that? The Dalai Lama. But if you're not changing, you're not doing anything to better yourself. You're not holding yourself to a high regard. You're not holding yourself accountable. How are you expecting your woman to be held accountable? You have to be the epitome of every good decision in your family. You have to be that. You have to be the strongest one, the one that holds himself accountable. You have to be the one that's the most selfless. All the qualities that you want the other people in your family, whether it's your wife, whether it's your kids, all the qualities that you want them to have, you have to exude 10x. Because you got to think, if you're the leader, you have to be the best of the best. And they have to follow suit. But that's neither here nor there. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Loki, did you have fun today? Seems like you had a good time. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.